This morning we have a guest speaker, uh, Melissa Kinchelo. Thank you. We went over this many times back in the back, if you don't know. Uh, but Melissa Kinchelo is from the Eastern Panhandle Empowerment Center, EPIC, uh, also known as EPIC. And also it's the former Shenandoah Women's Center that some of you may be familiar with as well. So it's just taken on a new name. The mission's the same. Uh, Melissa's the lead advocate and sexual assault response team coordinator. And she's going to share how EPIC, for short, has been a steady resource and voice for people for many, many years. And we appreciate you joining us, Melissa. I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I am definitely very, very grateful to be here. So EPIC, um, just a little bit of background information. EPIC is a nonprofit that serves Jefferson, Berkeley, and Morgan County. We serve victims of domestic violence, dating violence, human trafficking, stalking, and sexual violence. Um, I know that a lot of individuals are surprised that human trafficking actually happens in this area, but it does. Um, EPIC tries to do as much as we can to meet our clients where they are. Um, so we do have a shelter. It has 16 beds, um, and we do accept children um, and everything like that. Right now, there's actually a decent amount of children in our shelters. However, any donations that we receive, we make sure that we spread it out through all three counties. Um, so that we're able to delegate where the need is. Um, we also provide outreach services. So for individuals that aren't in our shelter, we will try to help them find housing. Um, if they have substance use disorder, we'll try to help them find um, recovery or detox. Um, we also provide food and clothing, mostly thanks to the donations from the community, which are amazing. Um, legal advocacy, emotional support. To be an advocate is very different from a lot of other positions because there's not like a one answer that fits all. It really is meeting the person where they are, understanding where they're struggling, how you can help them become more independent and empowered in themselves. Um, and yes, that's a little bit about EPIC. We're really there to try to better the community, make people feel safe, uh, because something that's really important to EPIC is that everyone should be able to live life without the fear of violence. But thank you for having me. <laughs> sure. So if you um, want to make a donation, um, our office in um, Berkeley County is actually right down the street. It's on West Martin Street. Uh, we do ask that um, just due to traffic of donations and stuff that you call ahead of time to make an appointment. You can usually just come that day. We just try to figure out a good time slot. Um, but you can also go to EPIC's website, which is epicwv.org, uh, to make donations. It also usually has a list of um, items that we may need. For instance, right now, uh, we're definitely in need of like pants, warm clothing, um, we're always in need of hygiene products, so shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, anything like that. But you can always just go to our Facebook page or our um, website to see what we need and where to go. But we always have a 24-7 uh, helpline number. So if you ever have any questions or anything like that, you can just call that 24-7 number. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.